Hey boys and girls, it's Friday and you know what time it is. It's time for a story <laughs> with the, some goats. This is Gladdy and her brand new baby Janie. Her baby is only three days old. Oh my <laughs> goodness, she's a brand new one. So Janie's excited and she picked out this book for us to read. It's called <laughs> Armadillo Rodeo. And she's going to listen to this story. Maybe. She may get up and come back. Are you going to get up and come back, Janie? Okay, you get up and you come back when you're ready. Okay, <laughs> this today's story is Armadillo Rodeo. Get closer so you can see. Armadillos, one, two, three. Bo, let's go, Ma Armadillo called to her boys as they headed out to dig deep in the heart of Texas Hill Country. Hey, I think I forgot to tell you that this book is by one of my favorite authors and illustrators, Jan Brett. She's the one that did the story of the mitten and the gingerbread boy. Have you ever read those? Yeah, I love those. That's, that's one of the reasons why I like this book. I think that little Janie likes it because of the animals in it. Stay close. Her voice didn't see too well, just like all armadillos, and she didn't want to lose them, especially Bo, who was always wandering off. One, two, three. Bo, don't go getting distracted on me. But Bo already was. He was looking at a lizard. Curious as always, Bo followed the lizard down to Can Creek, just as Harmony Jean came sliding down the bank from the Curly H, wearing her brand new boots, pointy-toed, high-heeled, hand-tooled, chili pepper red boots with fancy cutwork, tall tops, and, cur and the Curly H brand. She was here to scuff them up. Today was rodeo day, and Harmony Jean was not about to ride in a barrel race looking like a tenderfoot in new boots. She found a muddy place and hopped and splashed until her boots were worn, lived in look. Pleased, she whooped and hollered, look at me, won't you just look at me? Bo's ears perked up at the sound of a pretty voice. He lifted his head and squinted. What he saw was all that red leather shimmering and prancing over the creek bed. Why, for sure it looked to Bo as though he'd found a friend, a rip-roaring, rootin' tootin', shiny red armadillo. Bo, Bo grinned. Howdy, he shouted. Hi, Janie. Look, boys and girls, Janie's over there. She's right there. <laughs> She's playing. You're supposed to listen to the story, Janie. You're supposed to sit down and listen to the story, silly girl. Maybe if I sit this like this. You'll be able to see Janie a little bit better. Because I know you want to see the book, but you want to see Janie too. Harmony Jean, job done, lit off through the back 40 to Curly H. To the Curly H. Bo never looked back. He blinked and squinted as he trundled after his bright red friend as fast as he could go. Wait up, he called. Back at the creek, his mama twitched an ear. Is that hollering one of my boys? She asked. Armadillos, one, two, three. Oh no, Bo, he done it again. Have to work on propping this up better, boys and girls. Hang on. There we go, that's the ticket. Bo arrived at the rodeo just as Harmony Jean was swinging a leg up on her pony, Spotlight. He saw a perky nose and the silvery tail of a red armadillo leaping up ahead of him. Wait for me, Bo called. When Spotlight felt Bo on his tail, he gave a hop and buck. Harmony Jean stayed aboard, but Bo was tossed high in the air. The little armadillo landed in the dust, and he, uh, as he unrolled, he smiled, brushed himself off, and shouted, Hey, partner, you're my kind of friend. Oh, look, Janie's getting a drink from her mama. Can you see her back there? Bo 
bow tried to catch sight of that rootin' tootin' red armadillo, but he had to move fast as he zigzagged across the arena. Ma Armadillo, with her three boys, was hot on his trail, asking everyone she'd met if they'd seen him. Bo was still looking when he saw the armadillo headed for the barbecue. I'm right behind you, he called. But before he could catch up, the armo armadillo disappeared under a blue checkered tablecloth. Bo dove after him and peered around. His friend was nibbling on something green. So Bo ambled over and took a big bite. It was a red hot, bright green jalapeno pepper. <gasps> a jalapeno pepper? Oh no, I bet that is hot in his mouth. His mouth was on fire. Bo ran out of the out and doused his head in a lemonade stop to in lemonade to stop the burn. Delicious, he gulped. What's next? Chow time is over. The cowhands got out their fiddles and everyone went to the barn for a little dancing. Bo struggled to see his pal. Finally, he spotted a flash of red right in the middle of all those stomping feet. Bo too stepped his, toward his frisky new friend and cut in. Harmony Jean went tap, slide, tap with her right foot. Then heel stomped, high kicked with her left and Bo was hurtled high in the air. As he landed in the hayloft, he let out a rebel yell. Yahoo! Not far away, Ma Armadillo heard the commotion. That's my boy, she cried. By the time Bo made it down to the hay chute, the dance floor was empty. Harmony Jean and her friends had settled around the campfire. She looked down at her boots. They were starting to pinch. She slipped them off and tossed them behind her. Doing, what you doing, Tony? Oh, she's so cute, isn't she? Yeah. <laughs> Bo bounded up to a pointy toed, high heeled, hand tooled, chili pepper red boot. Howdy, he said. You're a mighty hard fellow to keep up with. My name's Bo. What's yours? His new friend didn't answer. Why not? Because <laughs> it's a boot. Bo stepped even closer. He could see the perky nose and the shiny smile. What's next, he asked. Bo, instead of but instead of answering, his friend fell over, plop, and Bo was left looking down an opening. He stuck his head in and sniffed. It didn't smell like an armadillo. He poked his nose up against, against the leather. It didn't feel like an armadillo. He squinted up close. It didn't even look like an armadillo. Nose in the air, he wailed. You're not an armadillo. Not far away, sharp ears of his ma recognized his vo the voice of her boy. His three brothers heard him too. Their search was over. Boys, let's go get Bo and head on home. Time to sleep, Bo, Ma said. We have to go out and dig tomorrow. <laughs> yes, Ma. But Bo thinking about the curly H. He knows that whenever he wants a change, he can mosey on down for some red hot chili pepper excitement, and his Ma will always be there to bring him home. Are you ready for some red hot chili pepper excitement, Miss Janie? You think so? Maybe so? All right, boys and girls, we hope that you liked today's story, and I hope you have a happy Friday. I'm so excited that on Tuesday, you get to come to school. Not you, though, Janie. You're going to have to stay in the barn with Mama. Say bye.